So, good afternoon. I'm Commander Barb Archer with Major Crimes. We're here to give you some information on the officer-involved shooting yesterday. And Lieutenant Matt Clark from Major Crimes has the information for you. Matt. Thank you. Thank you, Commander. I'm Lieutenant Matt Clark, CLARK from the Denver Police Major Crimes Division. I just want to give you a brief update about the incident that occurred yesterday involving the police officer-involved shooting. Uh, this incident started uh, Tuesday, August 16th, yesterday at about 4.15 in the afternoon. One of our undercover officers spotted a vehicle that was uh, used or taken, excuse me, in a uh, carjacking in Arapahoe County. That incident had occurred two days prior. The uh, undercover officer was calling in marked units uh, when he lost sight of the vehicle. Approximately three minutes after losing sight, a uniformed officer driving a marked vehicle located that uh, this vehicle that had been carjacked and it was parked in the parking lot of the Denver Community Credit Union at 10th, uh, excuse me, 12th and Federal. Uh, that vehicle, the way the officer found it, was backed into a parking space there. It was kind of hastily parked in that it was at an angle and crossing over two lines, uh, parking lines there. Given the time spread, the officer didn't know immediately if that vehicle was occupied. So as he pulls into the uh, parking lot, he pulls in front of the vehicle and recognizes that it is in fact occupied by three individuals. That officer uh, requests additional backup. Again, he's a marked, uh, excuse me, a uniformed officer in a marked police vehicle. Uh, he begins challenging, verbally challenging the individuals in the vehicle, um, ordering them to show their hands uh, while at gunpoint uh, with these individuals waiting for cover. Almost immediately, all three doors on the vehicle simultaneously open, or three of the four doors. There's two in the back seat and one in the front, uh, the driver. Those doors open and everybody uh, bails out of the vehicle and begins running. The officer's attention is drawn to the driver who comes out of the vehicle with a handgun, a black handgun in his hand. Uh, the officer briefly pursues him on foot and uh, while in, in, engaged in the foot chase, the officer discharges his weapon multiple times. That individual, the suspect, is hit. Um, he gets into the alley uh, and is taken into custody uh, without further incident at that point. He's transported to Denver Health Medical Center. Uh, that uh, suspect is a juvenile, so I can't give too much information about him. He did sustain a leg injury uh, from the uh, being hit by the bullet. It is a non-life-threatening injury, and he is expected to survive that. The two other individuals that fled from the vehicle were captured within 10 minutes of that uh, arrest of the driver, uh, within blocks of the of the original scene there at the bank. So, we have the three people that were in the vehicle initially all accounted for and in custody. Uh, the individual that we uh, that was shot and that was a driver of that vehicle that had been carjacked uh, did have multiple warrants for his arrest. Again, being a juvenile, I'm limited on what I can release on that. He uh, does face new charges as a result of this incident for felony menacing uh, in relation to his uh, interaction with the officer. Uh, the other two individuals that were in the car, uh, also both juveniles, I can't release much more on them, but they also uh, have two, they also have multiple arrests warrants uh, and they were held in the in the uh, juvenile youth facility uh, for those the end of, we did recover a gun uh, very near where the uh, suspect was taken into custody that gun we cleared the serial number and determined it was stolen in a burglary uh, we're working to determine and get additional information that incident did not happen in Denver so we're waiting on reports and putting additional information together on on how that individual came to have that that handgun uh, during the investigation, we have recovered, excuse me, we recovered a second handgun in the back of the vehicle that had been carjacked, the uh, vehicle that the officer initially contacted. That handgun had been abandoned in the vehicle, and we're working to determine if that was stolen or where that handgun came from also. To provide you a little bit of information about the vehicle, it was a uh, 2005 gold Volvo S60. That uh, was the exact vehicle that was taken in a carjacking in Arapahoe County. That incident was reported to have occurred on August 14th at about 1.45 in the morning. That's not our, in our jurisdiction, so we are working with that county and that jurisdiction to get their reports and uh, shore up that investigation to determine if the individuals we contacted in the vehicle are responsible for the carjacking. Uh, the information that was available to the officers was that during the carjacking incident, the robbery of the vehicle in Arapahoe County, multiple suspects were involved and that there were uh, guns used in that in that incident there. Uh, through the investigation we have no indication that the uh, individual that was in the driver's seat that was eventually 
um, wounded by the officer, that he fired his gun at any time. We have no indication that that happened. No officers were injured in this incident. Uh, and the officer that was involved, uh, I'm not identifying at this point, the, the media relations will release that later. He's a 10-year veteran of the police department. He's a patrol officer, works in a uniform capacity, and is assigned to District 1. Uh, he is currently placed on admin leave as, as per our protocol, um, pending the, invest the outcome of this investigation. This investigation was done cooperatively uh, in line with our typical protocol, working with the Aurora Police Department and the Denver District Attorney's Office. Uh, we know that there were many witnesses there. We interviewed a number of witnesses last night, uh, and I'd ask if there are any additional witnesses uh, or people who have information or video of this encounter uh, to contact the Denver Police Department or Denver Crime Stoppers so we can get that information and include that as part of our investigation. Uh, I believe that's all I have. If you have some brief questions, I'd be happy to address them. So that's part of, again, we're in the early stages. You can appreciate it. We're a day after. We're, that's part of the investigation right now is to determine what led to that. Any idea where the carjacking happened? Uh, I, I don't know specifically. It's in Arapahoe County. That's all I know at this point. Did the suspect brandish his weapon to bring it out to the district We're still looking to inve in, investigate. He, I can tell you for sure that he did come out of that vehicle with the handgun in his hand at that point. And that's what the officer initially saw there. Thank you.